the fall of the Berlin Wall. I did saw it through television and I was very, very young. And uh, it was uh, it was the first time that I understood that, uh, you know, that people really can change society. It was an event that was changing the world, to be honest. And at that time, I was just started my education, my study at university. I was studying history of societies. They taught us a lot of things about history, but we didn't talk about what was happening in society now. And that was so strange. The world was upside down. And in, it is in that time that we decided with a couple of students to organize ourselves and to organize lectures about what was happening in society. I always really liked the image of the people just starting to break the wall, which I thought is quite powerful instead of waiting for some official institution to come with their machines, but just like... Poof. Symbol of the wall for me means that atrocities can happen again and again, as long as we don't do anything about the root cause of that. The wall represents, again, that we are, although we are trying very much as human beings, we are still guided but by our epistemology of how we consider, how we rank different peoples within a global order. That's still there. It is not gone. It's, and maybe we should rethink our idea of humanity. The fact that it has broken doesn't symbolize to me that we have learned. Actually, we have created even more walls in how we see a humanity. There are many other walls that need to fall. Our society is full of, of different invisible walls that separate people. We all are trying to change the system because we realize the system is not working. If you really want to make a change in a society that you are living in, you cannot make that change with the same mentality that build up that society. If you grow up in a, in a neoliberal uh, society, there are a lot of uh, blind spots or let's say even walls inside of your own way of thinking about society, even if you don't agree with it, you are not even aware of and that you need to dismantle them. In our society, we are all compartmentalized, you know, in those little, let's say, boxes, because it's very important for the system, because in the moment that you have those divisions, you weaken also the power of the people, because then it's not anymore uh, we all together, I guess, in certain ideology and system and so on, but is becomes me against you because we have a different whatever. I can imagine for someone that uh, is that grew up in individualistic, capitalistic society, that is very difficult certainly to break this boundary, another wall, you know, of the individualism and to step into, for instance, a group uh, to look for the connection with a, with a group of activists and so on, because we are not used to it. The first steps are difficult because you are always uncertain and you don't know the people. But uh, trust me, the people will receive you very well. All these uh, activist groups, they need people that want to contribute. Because if you look to the Berlin Wall again, you know, just when you have a big, a critical mass of, of people, uh, Asking for justice is when you get it, you know, uh, and you cannot get that as an individual. You need to be in a collective. So uh, look for groups online. Just, you know, just go online and Google and you will find a lot of uh, activist groups and uh, you're going to be very welcome. So yes, break the wall of your comfort zone and don't uh, become passive. Uh, because that, you know, becoming passive, not, uh, not standing up for the rights that you think that are correct. If you don't do that, you are actually uh, stringing the system that you don't like.